this is Jeff with Island Opera TV and today we are going to explore Santiago, Chile. Beautiful city. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look. So this is the Central Mercado, Central Market of Santiago. Patio Bella Vista and this is a popular place to come have a beer coffee lunch dinner really popular place especially at night many restaurants I'm going to try this beer, one of these right here. These are, looks like Chilean beer.
Cerro de Santa Lucia. Let's see here. Where shall we go? I'll go up this way. So it didn't look like there was any emission. I even asked the lady. She said, go up. It's a lady with a book there. I first discovered this place by hop on, hop off bus. really hope I find the way up here see a trail starting to get a little hot out here Dancing waterfall. Those aren't real trees, those gotta be dance, dancing antennas or Wi Fi antennas. All the way to the fifth floor. Oh, they got a Bose. Furniture store, which I'm not gonna go into. Oh, there's an elevator up. Bose. Man, this mall is popping. This mall's not going out of business anytime soon. <laughs> you know how malls go out of business, right? This one's not. So how do I get to the top of this building? Oh, is this it? tiles are these they're not like the Portuguese style so they're just tiles a 
with stamps. Stamp tile. Oh, and of course, the lime scooter. Where's the bird scooter now? Saturday, so everything seems pretty closed on the weekends. And it, let's see here. Right now, I'm going to do my laundry, which is the annoying thing to do when you travel. You can see, I'm not too happy. Just arrived here and I already got to go do laundry. This is a good time to talk about how to pack luggage for long-term travel. It almost seems like you want to have like three different bags. You know, those knit bags if you can. One for you know, shirts, one for your shorts and pants, and then another one for your dirty laundry, and then you can just put your, you can put your socks and underwear in the suitcase area. Oh, that's so what, you can cross on the right, if you're local, there we go. Looks like a pretty popping place to check out. There's a lot I'm kind of impressed with Santiago. I mean, this might just be the most impressive South American city. I haven't been to Buenos Aires yet. That's next. But I've been through Latin America a couple times now. Mexico City. Lima. is almost like hmm I'm trying to figure out what city this reminds me of in the world maybe it's a league of its own but if I had to compare it to anything huh because bear in mind it's winter and it's not snowing but there's peaks in the background it's kind of I wanted to say LA, but LA has big mountains that get snow like this one. This one has the Andes, which we've seen in this video. Oh, P.F. Chang's. Um, hmm. Tempted to say Auckland, New Zealand, but maybe I'm just saying that because it's also in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't know, we'll have to see what this city's all about. So they have a metro. All right, I gotta check my phone. All that. Down here. Where does this go?
exploring this hill called Santa Lucia. It's like a garden, a castle, a fort, all that. Wrapped into one. R rocks are so polished, just like in Athens. Great. Be cool if that worked. Might just be the coolest place in Santiago that I've seen so far. raising awareness about cattle uh, but anyway this is outside that tall building which appears to be a mall and it is a mall clearly a modern amazing mall <laughs> what else is new right every major city has a mall Why would Santiago not have one? It'd be cool if it was uh, like Dubai's mall, the world's largest mall or something. Maybe South America's largest mall, I'll have to fact check that. It's bigger than the one in Peru, in Lima. That I went to called Lar Camar. That was just a small one. The Dubai Mall, you go to the top of the uh, Burj Khalifa. This mall, you go to the top of the tallest building in South America. <laughs> wow, look at that. How many levels is this thing? Four? Five? Wow. Kind of impressive. Up, up, and away you go. Oh, wow. I'm gonna be able to go get some clothes over there. Actually, let's go shopping right now because I need some stuff. Is this like their equivalent of a Walmart? Jumbo Hong Kong Sud. So this is like a Target Walmart in South America. Called Jumbo Como, como se dice the, this place? Como, uh, como se dice? 
This is a supermarket. Supermarket? Yeah. No name, no Walmart or uh, Jumbo. 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 Okay. Yeah. Bien, gracias. Supermarket Jumbo. Supermarket Jumbo. That's the name of it. So if you ever come to South America, that's the name of the uh, market here. <laughs> I should have said uh, nombre aquí. So it's just called Jumbo Market. Let's see. Some food. Smell some sort of fresh, fresh food somewhere. Let's see if they got a sweater for me. Preferably in the brand. Hola. Bien. Uh, you know, uh, sweatshirt. Polera. Uh, Polera, sí. Oh, aquí? Sí. Bien, bien. Aceite. I don't know why I'm filming in here, but I figured some of you guys might find this to be interesting to see a different way of going about this. I've been to a lot of foreign countries and most of them seem to have like American style or US style uh, layouts. Uh, maybe a little bit different in China, Hong Kong. I've seen some different stuff, but this is the first time I've seen like a Walmart, Target, Costco kind of thing that's not one of those. So I think that's kind of cool. Fresh food for those of you who are planning to come here and eat, cook your own food. Show you guys around this. I'm supposed to be looking for a sweater. Look at all this fresh produce. Everything just like the US. All fresh, abundance. Shelves are stocked. And I'm looking for a sweater. I wonder if they have men's, men's clothes here. I don't know how to say sweater in Spanish right now. I need Google Translate. I don't recognize many of these brands actually, except for Danon. No Danon. These are all different brands down here than what we have over in North America. So I'm thinking this has got to be where they got the men's clothes. Really just looking for a sweater or a jacket or something that's fashionably cool. If not, I'll just go back into the mall and pay top dollar, I guess. I don't know. This is kind of like Walmart selection. I don't think it's going to work. In case you're wondering why I came to South America without a sweater, knowing that it was winter was because I was in Cancun, Mexico, and I wasn't exactly for sure that I was coming to South America, and then I just decided on a whim to book a flight from Cancun to Lima, and bam, polar shift, polar opposites, hemisphere. Went from summer to winter. So obviously if I go to Cancun in the summer, I'm not gonna have anything but flip-flops and shorts and beach clothes. We've basically been wearing beach clothes in South America. All right, Jumbo.
minutes back out into the mall we go. Whoa, that guy just pickpocketed. That guy just did a pickpocket. Well, they just let him go. I don't know what just happened there, but it looked like they thought he pickpocketed, and then they let him go. Fast reflexes by that security guard, though. You gotta deserve a raise. <laughs> I don't know, though. He's harassing innocent customers, though. That's not good. So how do you go down that? It's a little chill out spot. Maybe a good place to get a beer. Maybe I should. Should I go in and get a beer? Should I? Should I get a beer? How about it? Let's get a beer. Why not? Beer 30. And it's one. Let's see what they say. Ooh. Hola. Uno cerveza? Modella. Or Heineken? Si. Si? Uh, una, una Heineken. Bien, gracias. Uh, aquí? Oh, bien, bien. She said I can sit inside or outside. I'll sit outside. Perfecto. Sitting. Wait. Totally different place. So I got two different places. Estrella Dam, that's from Barcelona. Amazing. What a beautiful little promenade. Fortunately, it's winter. <laughs> I came to Chile in winter hoping that it would be sunny based on weather reports that I was seeing where it would say 70 degrees and anyone who's felt 70 degrees with sun knows that's beautiful but when I got here it was 60 degrees and cloudy so and obviously it gets colder than that so this is called Paris Senko USD I guess Arucos Salud Lots of hotels. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Ah, Quicksilver. Look at that. Definitely like Quicksilver. Probably get some pants or something there. Wow, this is a massive mall, huh? Dolce and Gabbana. filming. Chile, or uh, Santiago is very modern. Very modern. And that's not an understatement. This is the second mall like this that I've seen. And the city is in very pristine, well manicured shape. I mean, 
Mont Blanc, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. You get the idea. So I think this is only a mall where I'm at. scared to ask anyone because they'll give me a look like, what are you saying? <laughs> so far that's what's happened if they don't speak English and I say, como se dice aquí? Or, el nombre aquí? Which is the only way I would know how to say what is the name. They would look at me and say, what? <laughs> okay, well anyway, I didn't come to Chile to see all the fashion and name brand stuff, but it's interesting to show this side of Chile, or Santiago, to say the least. I'd love to come here in the summertime when it's warmer. Oh. The door has a little bit of a delayed reaction. Bizarre. Excited to see what Argentina is going to have when I get there. If it's anything like Chile. Sorry guys, <laughs> keep filming all around this mall, but you guys have seen many malls before. I guess it's just cool to see what a South American mall looks like. Even the malls are kind of old school. 